Hey guys, in this video, I want to do the full review of the CM11 M10. Now, this is the update uh, for the Sony Xperia Z2 over here. You can see uh, this is Xperia Z2. And if we go into the settings, then about phone, you will see uh, CM11 M10. You can see M10 series. So, this is the update that I got. So, if you are on CM11 M9, uh, you just need a Wi-Fi connection and then you will be automatically notified by CM updater and your device will be updated uh, without any kind of problem. So uh, you can see it's extremely good, clean um, and also you, are no you notice that now we have here uh, the camera app. This is uh, the older camera app if I'm correct. Oh, thanks. You can see it's the older camera app. So uh, you have to install the Google Camera app from the Play Store um, manually, but it's easy. You can install it, and then you can set that app as your default camera app. Um, this is the older one, so they have, they didn't update the camera app. Uh, but anyways, we have here performance option where you can overclock your Xperia Z2 if you're using the M5 kernel. I will make a video about that. You can check out my channel. So. Um, uh, the 4.4.4 KitKat, some basic stuff. Developer options can be accessed after clicking, uh, you know, after touching the uh, build number option a couple of times. Then we have some normal options. Also, display and light, you can change the LED, uh, the lock screen, the all new theme engine, notification door options. You can see you can also use some two launchers there, TurboChat and the Google All Launcher. So, um, everything works pretty fine. Uh, battery life is extremely good. You can see I charged it um, last night, and you know you can see that I've used it not too much, but you can see I still have a lot of battery, 92 percent. Um, so you can see only 8 percent lost. I used some Wi-Fi. I played some some game games for about like five and six minutes. It still had good battery. So extremely good battery, but of course. Uh, stock things are missing like stock camera app and all that stuff, stock Sony uh, but you know on the Sony mod you get all the good speed uh, you know fluidity and it will give you game, uh, good gaming performance too if you try out some games and apps so also we have the file manager, the gallery, everything works fine no crashing and then also there is no Google Chrome this is uh, the CM11 um, official stock browser here then also uh, we have here the messaging app, no hangouts, it's a normal messaging app. Um, then also we have Apollo as the music, uh, which also works pretty fine, you can update it. Uh, then also we have email, then this is how the dialer looks, the CM11 M10. Uh, so more stability fixes, more internal fixes on this version of the CM11 M10. Uh, so this is also available for the Google Nexus 5, I'll do a review on that too very shortly so uh, you can see you can also change the battery status so uh, this is not the best customizable ROM for the Xperia Z2 but definitely it's not, it's not bad because the best thing that I do like about these custom ROMs is the only theme engine you can apply extremely extremely good themes I haven't downloaded any theme but I will do it pretty soon you can apply LG 3 theme Nexus 5 or S5 it will even change your boot logo it's extremely awesome so if you have any questions and stuff you can just comment down below uh, it's pretty much the same as the CM11 M9 uh, but a lot of things internally are fixed uh, so I haven't seen any kind of lag or bug or any, any kind of issue uh, so if you want to know something, you can just comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Like this video and subscribe.